Hi everyone, my name's Charlie Howard and I'm here in New York live with Desi Guell. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today. It's all going to be about diversity and Desi Guell's new campaign called Share the Power is a new campaign by Desi Guell and it's all about loving yourself and using your inner strength and in a message to support people around you. So about me, I am a curve model. I'm based in New York and learning to love my body has taken quite a long time. Um, it didn't come naturally to me. I struggled with eating disorders throughout my childhood and teenage years. I worked with Desi Guell first last year and we created a completely um, Photoshop free campaign. So I'm now going to introduce Mama Cax, who is such an inspiration. I'm so, so, so excited to talk to her. Hi! Hi, hello Charlie. <laughs> Yay, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say your power is as a woman? My sort of like ability to connect with other women and not only connecting with them, but also empowering other women. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with bone cancer and that in itself led me to get my right leg amputated. Following that, I just sort of, you know, had very low self-esteem. Um, I was depressed for such a long time. And I sort of realized it was not only how I was treating myself, but how I allowed other people to like treat me. Just basically letting other people's perception of me affect um, my well-being. So I sort of like started using my story to kind of like talk or reach out to other women who are going through similar situations, talking about body positivity and getting people to embrace their bodies, whether it's like covered in scars or stretch marks and whatnot. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think nowadays as well, people forget this, but models having a voice is such a new concept. Mm -hmm. And for such a long time, models were just clothes horses. That was all we were there for. And yeah. now because of Instagram, anyone can kind of become a model or become a role model in their own mm -hmm. right. And that's what yeah. I think is really, really, really exciting about the way that the industry is changing and the way that women are perceived in the media. I yeah. think that it's amazing now that women like me and you who don't, you know, fit the conventional model types have suddenly been given a platform. So that's really, really exciting. Think about that more and think about mm -hmm. other people. And I, I do think that like brands like Desi Guell, you know, are starting to be more diverse and they are starting mm -hmm. to listen to the consumer and like listen to models and, and use models who aren't the stereotypical skinny white girl. When did you realize that the thing that made you different mm -hmm. could really help people? Oh, it took me a while because um, at the beginning I hated what made me different, you know? So it, it started with me. Um, it had to start with me sort of like accepting myself and loving what made me different and then using that to sort of like, you know, change people's lives. So basically using my story to help other people. How would you describe yourself in your Tinder profile? Are you dating by the way? No, I am not. I used to be <laughs> ages ago. And then I decided it was not for me. But if I had to describe myself in my Tinder profile, I'd probably say, I'd probably say something like quirky, um, I'd say cyborg chick looking to have fun. I don't know. <laughs> wink, wink. So you know where to go, guys. <laughs> On your Instagram, you get your leg out. Is it like a prosthetic leg, bionic leg? Like, how would you describe it? Yeah, so it's a prosthetic leg and I have sort of like elaborate covers um, that I put on. So you can just change it like... I can just change them. I have 18 different ones, different colors, different designs on them. So I usually ideal. pick one. Yeah, right? Yeah. I usually just pick them to match my outfit. Part of being self-confident and part of my journey through self-love and body acceptance was showing who I was. So for me, showcasing it is showing that I love myself, is showing this is how I show that I love myself. One question that I'm always asked is what I would say to my younger self. So say, who was Charlie when she was 15? And what would you tell that Charlie? Charlie, when I was 15, was very badly behaved and was always in trouble, but was also very insecure and always worried about what other people thought. 
So if I could go back and talk to that 15 year old self, I would kind of just be like, stop worrying so much, just live your life. And also stop counting calories. Because when I was 15, that was all I did. I had like notebooks with just of tons of calorie counting and diet plans and blah, blah, blah. It sounds exhausting. It was, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a fun time. What is the part of your body you would say that you love the most? I love my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and I go on about them all the time. And I'm like, guys, look, they're so great. What makes you feel the most empowered is another question we got asked. Just a lot of the times looking how far I've gone, um, especially when I'm sort of like addressing a crowd um, I'm on, or I'm on a panel, just seeing how I've been able to sort of like turn something tragic into inspirational stories for other women, I think that in itself empowers me. So what about you? I just, I find you so inspiring and sometimes like, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, oh God, like, like I've never had cancer and you know, there is obviously like an element of me that feels kind of guilty because I feel like my problems are so small compared to you, you know? Uh, I mean, I always tell people you never, you never weigh your problems on a scale, whatever problems they are, I think it's how it's affected your life. So whether it's like cancer or, you know, having health issues or you know, dealing with weight issues. I think they're all in the same playing field because at the end of the day, if it's causing you to like hate yourself and be depressed, then it's probably all the same. You're such an inspiration to me, so I'm like, Thank still you. fangirling. <laughs> what tips would you give to people who want to be confident? I would say be a little selfish. Think of yourself, put yourself first. Don't let other people's opinion of you um, deter you from accomplishing your goals. I think that's the very first step because once you start putting yourself first, then, you know, the sky will be the limit. Right. No, 100% agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me on this today. Yes, it's for been sure. like just amazing to talk to you. And like I said, you know, I have followed you for such a long time and Thanks. I just love your message and what you're about and the fact that you're so honest and real. So thank you so, so much. Thanks guys. Thank you for watching thank you. and take care. <laughs> Bye.